be appearing at the Celebrity Theater in Anaheim on November 15th. And if you're in California, come and see me. Now, and speaking of California, Hollywood, and Beverly Hills, whatever you want to call it, is definitely the home of cosmetic surgery. I lived there for 18 years. I know there are 290 cosmetic surgeons in Southern California alone. I mean, incredible amount. It is a big, big business. And even though some celebrities are not talking about it, magazines finally certainly are. My next two guests will give us the lowdown on who's getting what and who looks great because of it. As you all saw last week in TV Guide's cover, from TV Guide, the lady who wrote the article, Mary Murphy, and from Longevity Magazine, who now has a, the Nip and Tuck Awards, we have Rona Cherry. Amazing amount, of, never mind TV Guy, which, you know, we expect to have all this, but here is a, a normal magazine, as we call it, not show business, and look at the names of the people that you have in here. Uh, Michelle Lee, Goldie Hawn, Iman, I mean, Anna, how did you get all these pictures and uh, get them to allow you, Elizabeth Taylor, all these pictures? Paul Simon, Sylvester Stallone. A lot of hard work. A lot, a lot of, hard of hard work. Right. Did, did you have to get their permission to put these pictures in? Well, you know, let me, let me go back and tell you a little bit about why we did this. Um, ever since we started this magazine, Longevity, two and a half years ago, we've been asking celebrities how they manage to look and stay so young. And they always talk about diet, and they always talk about exercise, and they always talk about stress Lighting. control. Lighting. <laughs> right. They even talk about love of God, the country, whatever it is. Um, Water. And yet when you ask water. them, it's like eight glasses of water Absolutely. does this to me. And yet when you ask them about cosmetic surgery, it's like, oh no, not me. And these are people who are disclosing the most intimate details of their life, whether they've been raped, whether they've been jailed. Child molestation. Uh, drug addictions, um, anything like that. And you ask if you had a little bit of fat taken off your face, and they say, oh, I no. can't talk about now, that. I'm what about you? Because you have people in, in your magazine yeah. who, of course, denied to me yeah, that you they did this. Had, this uh, this is one of the surgery. biggest selling issues, they told me, of uh, TV yeah. Guide, because it was on cosmetic surgery. Now, how many people did you call? And who did you? Oh, I called at least a hundred people. I can't tell you how many people said either they wouldn't talk to me or they didn't have plastic surgery. Who wouldn't talk to you that you kind of were surprised um, about? Barbara Walters wouldn't talk to me. Barbara Walters and she's in your magazine. Gets everybody else to reveal their life story. Right. Mary Tyler Moore wouldn't talk to me. Uh, Sally Jesse Raphael talked to me but said she'd never had plastic surgery. Well, you know, that's um, part of the reason. Morgan Fairchild said she'd never had plastic surgery on her face. On her face. That's, on I, her I face. smiled when I read on your piece face. in TV Guide because, because Morgan Fairchild makes a really big point there about how this 41 year old actress is terrified of having plastic surgery on her face. And yet, in our magazine, we show actually what she's done to the rest of herself, her, her whole know, body. Even at the Emmys, I, I mean, I had to do this story about myself and I would go around. I went to the Emmys and I stood with all these reporters and as the celebrities went by at the Emmys they'd go oh yeah look at Estelle Getty oh my god she's too young this year to play the the, the grandmother right. or Bert and Lonnie when they came in well, of course, they, Bert and Lonnie had couple surgery you were telling that's me the, the rumor is that when they were wheeled into the operating rooms and the gurneys they were holding hands with their joint <laughs> surgery and, and they recuperated and together <laughs> we're, yeah we're gonna go to a commercial then we're back this is Best part of the show. <laughs> we'll, we'll be back in a moment, so stay with us. Talking with celebrities, I'm uh, talking about celebrities and cosmetic surgery uh, from TV Guides cover this week, Can We Tuck, and Longevity Magazine, who's giving out the Nip and Tuck Awards. Um, who, um, who was hypocritical about it? Is there anybody that you can think of well, that you called up to interview for TV Guides? I mean, Guide? this is just my impression, but when, uh, when I interviewed Suzanne Rutan, who is a spokesperson for one of the big diet centers, I think Jenny Craig, like a lot of people are. Yeah. While she was the spokesperson, she was also having a liposuction. I think, see, this is what I worry about with women in America. They're out there reading and exercising and dieting, getting these books, you know, I'm just... Oh, and of absolutely. course, you know, they're not having their, the truth is the stars who are doing it having their ribs taken out, they're having their liposuction. John, th that's really the reason why we decided to do this photographic section, because nine out of ten celebrities we talked to, again, they were denying that they had it. We could see that they had had some work done, and also we talked to a lot of doctors all the time to put out this magazine. Who are the, 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 uh, the Nip and Tuck Awards, awards give me uh, noses and chins? Who won those awards? <laughs> Who won the nose? Well, you know, I must say, 
say, after looking, we looked at nearly a thousand pictures, and after a while, just focusing on noses and breasts and chins, you get a little tired. But yeah. uh, noses, for instance, best um, nose ever. Well, we, we really looked at four noses, yeah. and we made a point. We looked at Michelle Lee, we took to, looked at Melanie Mayron, we looked at pa Paula Abdul, and we looked at Marlo Thomas. And if you see, and I don't know if you're showing yeah, any pictures, um, they all sort of look like members of the same nose sorority yeah. because they all look identical. In terms of the chin, uh, well, we've all... So who won, like, best nose? That one, it was, it was sort of, it was a point about... Overall matching. matching. Yeah, and in who terms that? of well, let's go back. Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher. Okay, Carrie now Fisher. onto the. We don't even want to hear. We just want to have names. You just now, want the names. Okay. Give me chins. Oh. Chins. Chins. The one that really surprised me was Goldie Hawn because we think all the time that Goldie Hawn is forever young, um, and it's almost like you want to believe in Santa Claus. And here is this woman who is really beautiful. We learned um, about her chin, and as with a number of these other celebrities, we found out we may have focused on one particular part, but that does doesn't mean that they didn't do more work. Who was open with you in TV Guy? I know you called me and I was delighted to talk to you Joan, about it. Joan, you yeah. are very courageous yeah. because we, you are one of the few people who is willing to talk about it openly. Who, who else? Kenny was Rogers. Kenny I Rogers. was shocked Kenny Rogers has had three liposuctions. Tommy, you know, chin, and uh, he's going to have, he says, oh, now he says he was joking, a pec implant. But the thing that's interesting is I, I actually think in Hollywood it's like cocaine used to be the drug of choice in Hollywood. People don't do that. I think plastic surgery is like an addiction. But you know, if you have the money and you have the best doctors in front of you, of course these people but will that's keep going. If you, if you is, want to do it, but Hollywood can be very brutal and sometimes the doctors say the stars come in out of really insecurity. There's a lot of age discrimination in Hollywood and you, and you look at Sean Connery, a man in his 60s, how often do you see him paired with a woman in her 60s? You don't yeah. see that. You There's see a, Sean Connery with yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer or a Warren Beatty. Is he with a, a, a woman in her well, 50s? He's with, no. He's with Madonna. everybody. He's well, everybody. everybody. <laughs> let, let me ask the two of you because we have to go to commercial. Yeah. Which have you ever had plastic surgery? Nope. No. No. Would I'm, you? I was going to say after this? Yeah, th it's interesting. Not after this, but I almost had it once. But would you do it when you think you need it? Um, after reading all these things? I have to get over my Midwestern it, values. We'll talk. What about you? No, I haven't had it because uh, cosmetic surgery takes time. No, and as an editor of a magazine, it's very hard to take time for lunch. Excuse but, me. Uh, here, here, John, maybe here. <laughs> Nine days. <laughs> We have a lot. No, we yeah. can't. We have to go to commercial. Let me say we both have a lot to talk about during this commercial. <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh, this is, oh, I have to say goodbye to you. Oh. We'll be, oh, it's gone so fast. We'll be right back with more gossip on Dolly Parton. I thank you both oh. so much.